Good evening. Thank you. How many folks out there are from Berkeley Heights? How about Mountainside? Yeah, represent, represent. How about Beverly? Oh, there's, there's a definite competition in here. Scotch Plains family, New Jersey. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Well, welcome. This is a very informal, casual concert. Back in the fall, we received an email from the Beverly staff with a really cool idea. And their methodology is that when they go to a festival, very often uh, what happens is they play to uh, a gym of nobody with two judges. And they want to do more communal experience. So we're happy to host Beverly. I want to do some quick thank yous before we get going tonight. Thank you to the GL Band Parent Organization for helping coordinate this. They were supported tonight by Concert Band Parents. Thank you to Concert Band Parents. I feel like some mice getting cut off over here. Uh, also the GL Orchestra Parents. Woo! And then the GL Choir Parents were also helping as well. Um, Thank you for hosting all the students today, and thank you to the students from both towns for making this happen. It's a lot of extra time, and it's worth it. And without further ado, we'll kick it off. By the way, the staff of Beverly is Mrs. P.K., uh, choir director. <laughs> Mr. Acosta, band director. <laughs> and Mr. Smith, orchestra director. <laughs> and at GL, there's myself. There's uh, Mr. Ellis. There's also Mrs. Connolly right there. And Mr. Dusty was right around here somewhere as well. So there he's back there, he's back there. He's right there. You can't see him, but he's right there. Here's Mr. Smith and Mrs. Connolly with the orchestra combined. Hi, thank you all for coming tonight. Um, so this is we decided to do a combined two combined numbers. Um, for the Beverly High School and the Beverly Livingston High School orchestras. Uh, we did this because we just thought it would be fun to get have a bigger a bigger crowd um, on stage for us. So our first piece I'm going to conduct um, is Amadeus from Symphony Number no. 25 for Clerk. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'd just like to thank uh, all of the uh, wonderful people that uh, are hosting us, and a uh, delicious meal, by the way. And uh, so uh, we're going to play one second piece um, entitled Snowberry by a, a composer that uh, wrote this piece in um, 1995. And the person is Yokiko Nishimura.
At Governor Livingston, we have a, uh, a bagpipe program. So we're gonna have three of our veteran bagpipers who've been with the program the longest tonight. Um, Pipe Major Daniel Whalen, and then Noah Pagdaganen, and uh, Michael DeLavani play for you two pipe sets. The reason why we have bagpipes is that William Livingston was the first governor of New Jersey after independence. His family hails from Scotland. And when the school opened in 1960, the student body voted to adopt the Highlander and William Livingston's plaid colors as our colors and our, our, our theme. And within two years, a pipe program was started in 62. And we have other students in the pipeline, pun intended, growing up. So it, it, it continually gets renewed and we're one of two schools in Jersey that have bike pipes. We're very proud of it. Mr. Bolger is the director of that program. He's not here tonight, but I'll bring out uh, our bagpipers.
Let me hear Tuesday. Um, that's a really tough tune, the last one. Great job to them. Uh, next up, we're going to invite forward the Beverly Jazz Band. As they come up, let me do some upcoming announcements. Um, we have tomorrow night the GL Highlander Band Basket Raffle. If you're in the area, please come out. Uh, doors open at 6.30, happening right there in the IMC, and also the cafeteria where we had dinner tonight. Next week, we have the Small Ensembles Concert. We'll see a lot of these small groups on Tuesday night at 7 o'clock. Next week, we also have the uh, biggest event of Mountainside, New Jersey every year, the Mountainside Youth Baseball Open Day Parade. The GL Band's marching in that parade at 9 a.m. on the 22nd, Saturday, 22nd. And the following week is our GL Large Ensembles concert on Tuesday, April 25th. That will feature the choir, band, orchestra, and uh, wind ensemble and combinations thereof. Kind of light tonight, but with one school combining as opposed to two schools. So a lot of great things happening. Come check it out. If you're in Beverly, it's only six hours away. <laughs> you can do it. I'm kidding. No. Uh, when's your concerts? That late? Wow. Okay, let's say. That's more normal. So May. So in Beverly, May 20... May 23rd. If you're in Beverly, go out May 23rd. All right. Here's Beverly's jazz band, Mr. Acosta. Evening, everybody. I just wanted to reiterate what has already been said, which is we're just so thankful uh, and filled with gratitude at the opportunity to be here, uh, collaborating with other high schools and other music maker makers, um, and seeing how other programs function is a big reason why we travel. Um, and it's been a really great day for us. So thanks once again to everybody at GL for hosting us and for your hospitality. Um, on stage right now is about three quarters of the BHS jazz band. We, we are traveling without a, a few of our members, but uh, we are still nonetheless going to play two pieces for you tonight. The first of which is entitled Oklupaka by Duke Ellington. It's just Acapulco backwards, and it's the opening number off of his 1969 Latin American suite, and it is going to feature uh, Mary Dempsey on the keyboard. And Caden Hollingsworth on the clarinet. I jumped the gun just a little bit. We're, we're going to tune really quickly. Give us one minute. Thank you. Thank you. 
And the other chart that we'd like to play for you tonight uh, goes back a little farther in time. This one dates back to the mid-1940s, uh, written by famed bebop trumpeter Dizzy Gillespie. Most people know him as the Puffy Cheeks guy uh, with, the, with the curved trumpet, uh, which he originated. And this is one of his first tunes entitled Groovin' High, and it's going to feature on the saxophone Cece Tagaro. And patent pending Jackson Murphy playing the Jackson jingle tonight on the trumpet. So we hope you enjoy Groovin' High by Dizzy Gillespie. One more round of applause for the Beverly Jazz Band. Woo! And, and now we're going to change from this to singing. So we have the choir portion next. Choir.
I too would like to <clears throat> um, thank Mr. O'Sullivan in particular because he was the one that uh, I kind of reached out to when we first started arranging this and we're just so thrilled uh, to be here and to be able to share some music, I can't see, I'm sorry, with, uh, with your community. I really, really enjoyed watching the choirs rehearse together today because I just sat back and um, watch somebody else conduct and I didn't have to do that and it was so nice to see everybody working <laughs> together. No, uh, I'm on my way out the door. This is my last trip ever and my last concert season ever. <laughs> number 30 and year number 38 for me. So um, I'm so thrilled that I could be traveling with this group of kids this year because we haven't traveled since before the pandemic. And these kids have never been on an overnight field trip before. So thank you so much for hosting us.
Ding, 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 ding,
One more round of applause for all the Beverly High School choir groups. And now I believe we get to everyone's favorite four-letter word, band. Beverly bands, come on down, please.
All right, so on the stage now we have the BHS concert band, 45 strong. We're usually 78 strong, but we got 45 people who made the trip down here to New Jersey with us. Uh, and we're pleased to present two pieces this evening, uh, the first of which is by a Belgian composer by the name of Jan van der Roost, and this is his concert march entitled Arsenal. Before we bring uh, the GL band members up for a, a finale combined number, uh, I just wanted to shout out and thank anybody and everybody who played a part with the behind the curtains stage setup. 
It was fabulous. It was meticulously done. It was so nice to just have all the instruments put out where they were supposed to go and the chairs and the stands. So to anyone who helped out with that, thank you very much. It was, it was professional quality. Um, our last number, at least for our band tonight, is uh, one that I think everybody knows, even if you may not know the title of it. I think everyone re will recognize the melody. Uh, from Norway and Edvard Grieg, here's an arrangement of In the Hall of the Mountain King. So he just mentioned how great the sage hands have been. Things have just broke down a little bit. So band students, what I need you to do is go out that door for GL band, go down to the band room if you need to stand and grab a stand from the band room and then join the standing ranks uh, with uh, Beverly. Meanwhile, GL and Beverly Choir, please come forward to join us for the finale. On this finale, I'm gonna kill a little time here as we do this. This is called an armed services salute. And the notion started a couple decades ago. There's many versions of this. 
This version is great, but it does have two omissions. It omits the United States Coast Guard, and it also omits the newly formed United States Space Force. Um, the Space Force, because it's so brand new, there is a theme, you can go online, it sounds like 1932, it's really um, old sounding, which is the point. Uh, you can hear it, but we don't have it tonight. And the Coast Guard gets admitted often because they fall under Homeland Security, and the rest of the services fall under Department of Defense. So no disrespect meant tonight to the United States Coast Guard and to the United States Space Force. It's just not in our arrangement. So we will acknowledge them right now. Thank you. And the selection will feature both bands can play together and both choirs singing together. It's also a tradition, and if you feel comfortable doing this, please do so tonight. It can be more effective probably a few weeks from now when we have hopefully uh, uh, people that served in these branches. But the tradition is that when we play or sing the armed service song that you were in, if you served, the tradition is that you stand and, and take acknowledgement. And uh, they always say around Memorial Day and Veterans Day, make sure you thank a veteran for their service. And, uh, and people, sadly, often just don't get an opportunity to. So if you would be so brave, if you served in any of the services, please do stand up and, and, uh, and be acknowledged during it. If you know the words, please sing along. And uh, when we do this song again in two weeks' time, we hope to see in the audience people that have uh, proudly served uh, our country in these services. So uh, this is by Carl Stroman. It's called American Heroes. And we still need a few moments because the band students are grabbing their stands. But it's a special treat tonight. You have Mr. Obleski filling in on tenor. And while I could play French horn or something else, I'm going to sing bass. Why not? So we'll have uh, some extra help. Yeah, I know. Why is he wearing tweed? I know. Right there. And uh, actually, any of the Beverly teachers that uh, are out there, if you want to come along down and, and sing along too, um, if you're not directing, you're welcome to come join us as well. Um, and if you uh, are musically trained, you can read. Come on down.
Tuesday is the encore. Uh, the following Tuesday. Uh, once again, uh, to especially thank one group of people that matter the most of why we're all here, we want to thank the students for coming out and going above and beyond for music. Thank you to all the students from both schools. And with that, that's the end of this informal concert. Uh, thank you, Beverly. We wish you uh, safe journeys the rest of your way back to uh, your state of Massachusetts and enjoy New York City tomorrow. Most of us here in New Jersey don't go there perhaps that much. So enjoy it. I'm out to your mom. <laughs> They're going to Times Square. They're letting them lose Times Square for one hour. Have a good night. <laughs> <laughs>